Assessing emotional maturity in accordance with American psychological perspectives is a complex and multifaceted endeavor. Emotional maturity, also known as emotional intelligence, refers to a person's ability to recognize, understand, manage, and effectively use their own emotions and the emotions of others. It is a critical aspect of personal development and can significantly impact one's relationships, career, and overall well-being. In this comprehensive guide, we will explore various dimensions and methods for testing emotional maturity as per the American vision. I Introduction to Emotional Maturity Emotional maturity is a concept rooted in psychology that has evolved over time. American psychologists have made significant contributions to our understanding of this concept. And it has become a central aspect of personal and interpersonal growth. The American vision of emotional maturity emphasizes several key components. Self-awareness. Recognizing and understanding one's own emotions and their impact on thoughts and behavior. Self-regulation, the ability to manage and control one's emotions, particularly in challenging situations. Empathy, the capacity to understand and empathize with the emotions and perspectives of others. Social skills, effective communication, conflict resolution, and the ability to build and maintain healthy relationships. Motivation, a drive to achieve personal and professional goals, often involving a high degree of emotional resilience and perseverance. 2. Assessing Emotional Maturity Assessing emotional maturity can be a complex process due to its multidimensional nature. Various psychological tools and assessments have been developed to measure different aspects of emotional maturity. Below are some commonly used methods. Emotional intelligence assessments, several standardized tests and self-report questionnaires. Such as the emotional intelligence appraisal by Travis Bradbury and Jean Greaves or the Meyer Salave Caruso Emotional Intelligence Test MC, are available to assess emotional intelligence. These assessments typically measure self-awareness, self-regulation, empathy, and social skills. Self-reflection, self-reflection exercises and journaling can help individuals gain insight into their emotions and thought patterns. This can be a valuable tool for increasing self-awareness. 360-degree feedback. In professional settings, 360-degree feedback surveys gather input from peers, supervisors, and subordinates to assess an individual's emotional intelligence and social skills. This provides a holistic view of one's emotional maturity in a workplace context. Behavioral observations, psychologists may use structured observations to assess how an individual reacts to various emotional stimuli or situations. This can provide insights into their ability to self-regulate and manage emotions. Interviews and counseling, psychologists and therapists often conduct interviews and counseling sessions to explore an individual's emotional challenges, coping strategies, and interpersonal dynamics. Psychometric tests. Some standardized personality tests, such as the Minnesota Multiphasic Personality Inventory, MMPI, and the Neo Personality Inventory, indirectly assess aspects of emotional maturity by examining traits related to emotional stability, agreeableness, and conscientiousness. 3. Cultural and contextual considerations. It's important to recognize that the concept of emotional maturity can be culturally and contextually influenced. What may be considered emotionally mature behavior in one culture may differ from another. Additionally, emotional maturity may vary in different life domains, such as personal relationships, workplace interactions, and family dynamics. In the American context, emotional maturity often emphasizes individualism, self-expression, and open communication. However, it is essential to appreciate and respect diverse cultural perspectives on emotional maturity. 4. Developing Emotional Maturity Testing emotional maturity is just one aspect of personal growth. The ultimate goal is to enhance emotional maturity over time. Here are some strategies to foster emotional maturity. Self-awareness, engage in mindfulness practices, self-reflection, and therapy to better understand your emotions and their origins. Self-regulation, learn stress management techniques, practice emotional control, and develop healthy coping strategies. Empathy, Cultivate empathy by actively listening to others, seeking to understand their perspectives, and engaging in compassionate communication. Social skills, work on effective communication, conflict resolution, and relationship building skills through practice and feedback. Motivation, set meaningful goals, persevere in the face of adversity, and develop resilience to setbacks. V. Conclusion. Assessing emotional maturity as per the American vision involves understanding and measuring various components, such as self-awareness, self-regulation, empathy, social skills, and motivation. 
multiple methods, including standardized assessments, self-reflection, feedback, and behavioral observations, can be employed to evaluate emotional maturity. However, it is essential to recognize the cultural and contextual influences on this concept. Ultimately, the journey towards emotional maturity is ongoing and personal. Developing emotional intelligence and maturity is a lifelong endeavor that requires self-awareness, practice, and a commitment to personal growth. It is an essential aspect of leading a fulfilling and successful life in the American context and beyond.